So hyperthreading is a CPU technology that allows a single processor to handle multiple tasks simultaneously by dividing physical cores into virtual cores. So which that means is virtual, you know, they're fake. So if you have a four core processor with hyperthreading, essentially it thinks that there's a eight core processor. Hyperthreading can improve performance but it does not double your performance. So again, like I said, it's gonna make the computer think that there's more, doesn't mean that you're getting double the performance. Some applications will see performance increases and some applications will see decrease. Basically in games though, we, we do see an, an uplift in video games whenever we do have hyperthreading enabled. All right, so this right here is with hyperthreading on. I am using the 13700K. I'm gonna go ahead and run me a Cinebench uh, R23 real quick. Gonna do this video here because of the new CPUs coming out, the Ultra Series. They're coming out and they're not gonna have no hyper threading on them. So again, we we're not gonna know the full specs or the the full what these CPUs are capable of until they actually, you know, we start seeing the benchmarks and what people are actually doing. Just to say this as well, my numbers are gonna be a little bit lower because I am recording at the same time. So right here, I got a 27,163. Normally I get about a 30, uh, 31,000. So I'll go ahead and run it one more time. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn hyperthreading off. And then I'm going to also turn the hyperthreading and the E cores off and do just the P cores. All right, so 27,166. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a single core. So with hyperthreading on, uh, single core was 1923 right here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and turn hyperthreading off and uh, the P cores off and do the same test. All right. So now I have everything turned off. Go ahead and open up Cinebench. Or the joke in my house, Cinebench. Go ahead. So we're going to go ahead and start with multi-core first. Again, this is with no hyper-threading and no um, E-cores. This is a straight P-cores only. And again, my scores are going to be just a little bit lower due to I am recording. All right, so now there's our score right there, 12,372. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the single core performance without hyper threading or the E cores. All right. So now here's our 1870 for our single core performance. So let me go turn my hyper threading and my P core or my E cores back on. And we're going to discuss and do some side by side comparison. So as you see from just me turning mine off, Again, this is us turning off whenever they made that processor, the you know, the new the new core 285 and stuff. Uh, the way they make them, it might be a little bit different, but when you turn it off, you're hit with a performance. And in video games, because again, we're gonna have to just stick to video games because apparently that's all Intel's doing, is they're only ready about their video game side of this. <laughs> I think there's more productivity people in the world than there is video gamers, but anyways. That's just my two cents on that one there. They're just strictly more focused on uh, gamers right now. And I don't know why. I know they want to take pride in having the gaming chip. I get it. But we need more than just, we need a workhorse but to, to do multiple things. Especially in today's day and age. We're, we're very big multitaskers. But as you see, though, I turned it off. And that's a pretty good, pretty big hit, you know, turning uh, hyperthreading off. And that's going to be even a bigger hit when it comes to a video game. So say you get, right now, you're getting 175 frames per second with hyperthreading. You turn hyperthreading off, and you're only going to get about 130 to 140 frames per second. You're going to decrease your performance. So hopefully this new chip has something else that's embedded in it. Now, don't get me wrong. We got some other things. They change up the, the RAM. And they, they put in, uh, what is it, DCMU uh, for the RAM. Uh, you got different type of RAM modules now that we can use on there. You can get your RAM up to 8,000, I think, uh, without, you know, bottlenecking or getting blue screens of death. Uh, again, there's some, there's some leaks out there. 
uh, I can't just the embargo is in a couple of days. I just I'm too poor to go buy this stuff, and I'm not big enough for them to send it to me. So uh, hopefully one day I will be. Uh, but that's only going to happen if y'all go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hyperthread. It's just I don't know. This is going to be this is going to be an interesting thing to 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 watch unfold. It really is. This is going to be really really interesting. Uh, one thing that I I'm really excited about for whenever I get my hands on one, which is going to be right after Christmas. Uh, unless anybody wants to sponsor this channel, y'all are more than welcome. But back to what I was saying is one of the big things that I'm really, really excited about is um, the gen uh, four extra lanes on these. They're 24 lanes instead of 20 lanes. So right now, like my PC, I have my video card and my, of course, in our PCI slot one, which is running at 16 times. So that's taking up 16 lanes. So that means you only got four other lanes for anything else in the computer if you only got 24 lanes. Right? If you're running a M.2 times five in your first slot, well, the first slot and that second slot, they they use the same bandwidth. Well, just think about that on your other one. So I have five M.2 slots. Well, the other four, they're all capable of doing PCI Express four, four times, four times, four times, four times. But if you fill them all up, you're not you're getting three times. You got to start separating the uh, the lanes so everyone has enough. So each lane has enough bandwidth. I would have thought Intel would have brought at least a 28 lane where we could run dual uh, dual uh, M.2 times five plus the video card and not be lacking. Hopefully y'all got some insight out of this. Uh, and let, let's just wait and see. Go ahead and leave some comments down below. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'm going to be bringing a lot more tech news like this out, uh, explanations of certain techs like this. I'll be bringing uh, different things to speed up your PC, speed up your video card, uh, product reviews. I mean, if you like all this type of stuff, I, again, yes, I'm new. I, yes, I know I'm all over the place a little bit, but I will get better. Subscribe, like comment. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Thomas with Tomology.